If you are looking to install and run large language models locally and privately, then Olama is one of the easiest and fastest tool to do so. You can run Olama with any of the models like Mistral, Gemma, Llama 3, which was just released two days ago, Llama 2, 5, and the list goes on and on. Olama is one of the light, lightest tool, I would should say, and the footprint is very low. One of the things with Olama is that it runs in terminal. So if you are looking to create a chat user interface around Olama, then this video might help you. I'm going to use this tool, Chatbot Olama, which is an open source tool for chat user interface for the Olama. In this video, I will be showing you how you can get it installed locally and then we will also use it. I have already installed Olama on my local system and it is running as you can see in this browser window when I'm accessing it through my public IP remotely. Now, let me go to my local system and then I am going to show you how you can get it installed. As you can see, I am running Ubuntu 22.04. I have one GPU of 16 GB VRAM and my memory is 32 GB. Let me clear the screen. There are, apart from Olama, of course, you need to have uh, two prerequisites. So first let's check Olama is here. So simply do Olama list. And these are the two models I have. So I will be running it with Mistral latest instead of five. Make sure that you already download it. And in order to download it, all you need to do is to do this. Olama run Mistral colon latest. And it is going to download that. I already have done it. And then you need to have node JS install. So just do node V. You should have latest version installed or greater than 14. And you should have npm installed. And this is my npm version, which is again the latest one. So as long as you have these prerequisites, you should be good to go. Now, the first step we need to do is to git clone this chat UI's repo. And let me first do that. So you can see that I'm simply running this git clone with that repo address. That is done very quick. Let's go to this directory. And these are the contents of this. So we need to install all the dependencies with the npm. Let me clear the screen and run npm ci. It is going to install all the prerequisites. So let's wait for it to finish. It will take too long. And you can ignore these deprecated values. I think it shouldn't make any difference. And that is all done. As you can see, all of these packages were added. Second step, if you haven't already started Olama, this is the time to start it. Once you have started the Olama, which is already I've shown you it is running, then um, you need to start the application by simply doing npm run dev and it is going to start the chatbot application on your local system. So let me press enter. And you can see that it is now running. It is also showing you that where it, exactly it is running. Is running on the local host and also it is telling you that next.js is also collecting some telemetry so and it i think it is sending it to node.js i think they shouldn't be doing it they should uh, ask us to opt out but anyway let's and it is getting ready so let's wait for it to get ready and then we will proceed further It took a bit of a time, but now as you can see that it is ready. And if you access it on this port 3000, then you will see this screen on your local system. And as you can see that on the left hand side, we have all the chat. <clears throat> In the middle, we have our Mistral latest model. And as if you remember, I already have the Phi model on my system. So you can also select the Phi. Let me make it a bit bigger. There you go, much better. So again, so Phi is also there, but I'm just going to go with Mistral. And it is also giving us a size and all that stuff. There is system prompt you can set and you can also make it as creative as you want. And then here you can talk with your model. So you can just ask it anything. Hello there. And then press enter. And you go, you can see that how quick that is. And you can already talk with it at explain meaning of happiness there you go how good is that 
and you can create a new prompt there you can clear the conversations you can import the data export the data and if i click on the settings you can go with dark mode you can go with the light mode so this is the light mode but i think i like the dark mode better so let's go with the dark mode and you can search your chats and you can do a lot of other stuff and if you look at the top this is a setting button where you can again change your settings how good is that and if you click uh, here it is just telling you that uh, you want to clear all the messages but i'm not going to clear the messages and if you want to broaden the screen just click on this right arrow it is going to broaden from here and if you want to extend it from the left just click here and then you can bring it back how good is that so very simple yet very elegant in my humble opinion i think um, i ran a lot of models on olama and then if you can get this simple chat uh, ui on top of it there is nothing better than that and another thing which i like about it is that you can even arrange it in the folder so if you look at the top left you see this folder icon and in this folder icon you can create different threads and similarly on the right hand side you can have different prompts so just click on new prompt and you can have different prompts and you can simply give the description and give your prompt and you can use variable something like name name is an adjective and then it will you can even save that prompt so that is it guys i think uh, amazing project i hope that you enjoyed it and a really huge shout out to, to the creator of this project and let me show you because i think credit is due so ivan is the main creator and co-founder and cto um, of coreview inc i think he is the brains behind it and there are a lot of other contributors all of them have done a wonderful job here so really really amazing also this project has taken its inspiration from this project which is a chatbot ua for every model this is again a great project and i have also done a video around it so please look uh, on my channel search for it and if you don't i will also paste the link in video description so he has also done a wonderful job here uh, amazing amazing mckay wrigley so these people are really putting their hearts out doing a lot of effort in creating this free open source software for the community so huge huge shout out shout out uh, of course i hope that you enjoyed the content if you like it please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please do me a favor and share it among your network as this helps a lot because all of this takes a lot of effort a lot of resources so when we get the encouragement like more subscriptions more sharing it helps a lot and always good to see in channel growing and lot and lot people getting benefit out of it thanks for watching